Have you ever wondered why pencils are yellow and pool tables green? Even if you haven't, today you'll find out how it all came to be. Why pool tables are green Pool goes centuries back. Royalties used it to play outside on the grass. As years went by, the game slowly moved indoors on wooden tables, and the outdoorsy version was forgotten. At first, the decision was to use a green cloth on top to make the table's surface resemble grass. But when pool became a sport and was aired on TV, the green cloths made it harder for the viewer to see some of the balls. The cloth color was then switched to blue. Since then, blue cloth became the norm for tournaments and then private tables too. Why keyboards have markings? If you look at your computer keyboard, you'll see two ridges on the F and J keys. Those help you position your hands and find the correct keys without looking. The trend started decades ago, when people started taking typing courses, learned to use all 10 fingers while positioning their index fingers on the F and J keys. Why you yawn? Now, folks used to believe that people yawn because their body needs to take in more oxygen. But that theory was revised in a 2014 physiological research. Scientists studied 120 individuals and found that yawning happened more in the summer and less in the winter. It's the brain's immediate response to regulating its temperature when it gets hot. Yawning also helps you wake up. The movement stretches your lungs and lets your body flex both the joints and muscles. Another study explains that contagious yawning in humans has to do with empathy. Why you snore when you're sleeping and not when you're awake? Well, that happens because air can't move freely through your nose or throat. That causes tissues to vibrate, hence your dinosaur-like sound. It doesn't happen when you're awake because the muscles in your throat hold the airway wide open to allow smooth airflow. But during sleep, those muscles relax and your airway shrinks. Why taxis are yellow? At the dawn of this mode of transportation, John Hertz, the founder of one company in New York, purchased several dozen used cars for his business. To make the vehicle stand out, he painted them yellow after reading a study by the University of Chicago, which said this color was the most visible from a distance. In Europe, yellow cabs had already toured the streets, but their career was short-lived. However, in 2013, green-painted cabs appeared in the city. Through GPS analysis, the Taxi Commission found that some areas in New York had limited access to taxis. So, green vehicles, called borough taxis, picked up passengers from those left-out areas to fill in the gaps. Why do calculators have solar cells? The first solar calculator hit the shelves in the late 1970s. Back then, scientists began experimenting with cheaper solar cells than the ones used on satellites. Calculators were among the first products to have them to boast how little power they needed to work. In the 1990s, companies announced that more solar power goods would soon come out, but they never did. The technology moved to larger products, such as lights and highway signs. Why do some sport coats have elbow patches? Originally, sport coats were made to be worn outdoors for sports. They had pieces of fabric in the elbows because it was easier and cheaper to replace just those parts than buy a brand new coat. Later, university professors and teachers began wearing them. The patches came in handy when the elbows rubbed against the desk and writing board. Traditionally, they were made of leather, suede, or heavy wool. But today, the patches are for aesthetic purposes. Why notebooks have page margins? In the olden days, <laughs> paper was a sweet treat for rats, mice, and other rodents. To avoid losing valuable information from books and notebooks, people began leaving empty spaces around the edges. That's where most of the damage occurred. Later, when notebooks were printed, the margins stayed for notes, dates, and comments. In books, the spaces became a norm for both printing purposes and to prevent the information from being lost because of regular wear and tear. Why toothpaste tubes have color bars on them? There's a myth that the colored rectangles have something to do with the ingredients of the toothpaste. Ah. But the color bars are there, in fact, to indicate to the machines where the package must be cut, folded, and sealed. Different color codes are used for different packaging machines. Hmm, I like the other story better. How Play-Doh was created 
When this putty first came out, it was intended as a wallpaper cleaner that removes soot from the open fireplace. But soon, vinyl wallpapers came out, and the demand for the product dropped. Someone in the inventor's family read a newspaper article about making crafts using the cleaning putty. They tested it with some kids in the kindergarten, they loved it, and then the product was rebranded as the beloved Play-Doh. Why post-it notes are yellow Now, their inventor was trying to create a very strong, long-lasting adhesive, but ended up with a low-tack glue instead. While trying to promote his invention without success, his colleagues suggested using it to temporarily stick bookmarks in his books. And bingo, post-it notes appeared. The yellow color occurred coincidentally because the lab next to them only had yellow scrap paper. Why tea comes in tea bags? Hey, why not a golf bag? You have to tee off anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a stretch. When the beverage was first commercialized, the tea was placed in hand-sewn fabric bags. In 1908, a tea and coffee importer from New York shipped his silk tea bags around the world. To enjoy the beverage, customers had to remove the tea leaves from the bags. But they were unaware of this and started brewing the tea in the silver bags. They loved it so much that it became the norm, and everyone enjoyed tea this way. It took another 20 years for the first tea bag machine to come out, though. Why coffee mugs have grooves? Placed in the dishwasher, mugs are supposed to be upside down. Cleaning water starts spraying on top and below them to make them shine. A manufacturing company saw that when people took the mugs out of the dishwater, water would accumulate on the top and drip all over them. So they came up with a tiny groove on the side to allow water to escape. Why microwaves have black dots? If you take a close look at your microwave door, hmm, you'll see a black mesh border with tiny dots on it. Those act as a shield to block electromagnetic fields, stopping the radiation from getting through and cooking you, but still allows you to see what's happening. Think of how a coffee filter holds the coffee dregs, but allows the liquid to escape. Ooh, I like that one. Why pencils are yellow Traditional pencils have been yellow since the 1900s. That was when a company in Europe introduced their Koenor brand, which was named after a diamond. That inspired the diamond shape of the pencils. During that time, pencils were painted a dark color or not at all. Usually, the paint was to cover up imperfections in the wood. To make them stand out, Koenor painted them yellow. The color also suggested that the excellent quality graphite used in the product came from Siberia, since the geographical location was close to China. It's believed that it also represents happiness, glory, and wisdom. Why puzzles were made The first puzzle came out in the 18th century by John Spilsbury, a map maker and engraver. He mounted his maps on a piece of hardwood and cut around the borders of the countries. This was intended to be an educational game that helped British students learn geography. Jigsaw puzzles came around almost a century later when fret saws became the dominant tools for cutting the shapes. All pieces had unique forms, so you couldn't fit a wrong piece in the wrong place. Why keyboards aren't in alphabetical order? When the typewriter first came out, the keys were arranged in alphabetical order. But when someone typed really fast, the keys got stuck together. That's when Christopher Scholes and his partner James Densmore spent five years trying to fix the problem by placing commonly used letter pairs apart to avoid jams. Later, they sold the patent to a typewriter manufacturing business, and soon the company brought out the famous QWERTY keyboard that we still use today. Why you have gunk in your eyes when you wake up? Your eyes constantly produce tears and some mucus for protection and hydration. Every time you blink your eyes, you flush out the mucus and particles. During sleep, you keep producing tears and the yucky gum, but without the blinking, it just accumulates there. Why motorcycles don't have reverse Most riders have no difficulty backing up a bike with their feet. If there was a reverse gear, it would hardly ever get used, because moving a motorcycle a car length backward is no fuss. Also, it would become more complex, since going backwards on two wheels is harder and more unstable. Adding that feature would add more weight to the bike and therefore slow it down. 
There are few heavier models with reverse gears, though, because it's harder on the rider alone to carry the weight backwards. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.